In this study, we analyzed genome-wide data from 100 skeletons that were excavated at archaeological sites from Turkey, Syria and Azerbaijan and date 7,500 to 3,000 years ago. During this uh, time transect that uh, corresponds to the Neolithic and Bronze Age for the Western Asian prehistory, uh, populations uh, transitioned from uh, farming communities to more complex uh, social structures. And what we see in archaeology uh, is that the interconnectivity within uh, Western Asia increased and areas such as Anatolia, Northern Levant and Southern Caucasus uh, became a hub for exchange of ideas and material culture. The goal of our study was to understand the role of human mobility throughout this process. What we found uh, it was that uh, actually during the end of the Neolithic, populations from across Anatolia to, uh, to Caucasus and Zagros in Iran started to biologically mix, forming what we often call in population genetics a gradient of mixed ancestry. And by using uh, dating, admixture dating methods, we could narrow down the timing of this event to around 8,500 years ago. We also found that later, on the Bronze Age, Northern Levant experienced uh, introduction of new populations. And these were most likely populations from Northern Mesopotamia, however, these populations still remain unsampled. And this finding has been important in the sense that it contributes to uh, already existing uh, archaeological hypotheses who talk about an increase in um, uh, interregional connectivity in this area around this time, or migration of uh, peoples because uh, of a mega drought event. So in our study, which is in the framework of the Max Planck Harvard Research Center, we focus on the genetic history of the Eastern Mediterranean. And it's a very important, very interesting region because it connects West Asia and Europe. And we particularly focused here on Anatolia. What we found by analyzing the genomes of those ancient people from the Near East was that even before the emergence of state societies, which there are some of the first emerging in Anatolia and the Near East, we found that there was a homogenization of the genetic makeup of the people. So there was a lot of genetic exchange between, for example, the western part of Anatolia and the eastern part of Anatolia. And afterwards, there was a long time of genetic continuity. So it was not the kind of emergence of civilization and states that actually brought all those people together and mixed them up, but that happened already before. It was the first time that this was actually um, observed. So one of the surprises that we had here was that we found that in this early globalized world, we already had long distance mobility of people. So one of the sites that we studied in southern Anatolia, which is called Alalakh, we found one female individual that had its ancestry from Central Asia. We're not quite sure if this person herself moved all the way from Central Asia to southern Anatolia of, or was her ancestors, but certainly there was long distance mobility about 4,000 years ago, which was very unexpected uh, for being such a long time ago.